Hey, what's going on guys? This is Pete with Auto Repair Tips. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit the bell for notification. Working on a 2012 Chevy Suburban. Customers complain lack of oil pressure after driving. And what I wanna do is I wanna show you a common problem we found that most of these Suburbans have. In the description below, I'm gonna leave a link to my website. If you're working on a vehicle and you need some help, there's a form there you can fill out. Fill it out, send it to me, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Also in the description, I'm going to leave some links to see on some great tools you can get. Hey, in the comments below, let me know how many of you guys have Suburbans with these problems. What's going on with these trucks are, there is a screen under the oil seam, and over a period of time, dirt, debris, and sludge from the oil build up on this screen. And as you drive it, it does not allow the proper amount of oil pressure to get to the sending unit. So your oil gauge in your truck will start to go down slowly from like 60 pounds to zero. And then you'll get a display reading on your screen that says turn the vehicle off, uh, lack of oil pressure. Um, but your truck has plenty of oil pressure, it's just not getting to the sensor like it should. To save time, I went ahead and already removed the oil seam from the truck and the screen. And what I'm gonna try and do is give you a good picture of where it is so you can see. The oil sitting unit is located behind this plastic shield. Let's see if I can get a good shot of it. Right back in there. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna have to reach your hand behind there with a socket and a ratchet. It take about 30 minutes, but you can get to it that way and get it off. After we remove the oil sitting unit and the screen from the Suburban, this is what it looks like. If you look right here, it's a pretty common problem. The screen is stopped, slam up. Just like that. Okay, what's happening is after you run it for a little bit, you have a little bit of oil going on the top side of the screen and it just, the oil pressure starts to drop down. And it's a common problem with the Suburbans. And this is what the oil sitting looks like. You hear? This is the part number to the new screen. This is what the screen, new screen looks like. This is the part number to the oil sending unit. And this is what the new oil sending unit looks like. After you remove the oil sending unit, what you're gonna do, inside the hole, you're gonna see a screen like this, okay? You're gonna take a pick, just like this. And you're gonna go down inside here, and you're gonna grab it just like that, and you're gonna pull it out, okay? Then you're gonna take the new, the new screen, You'll just slip it in the hole and you'll screw the oil seam unit right behind it, just like that. This is the setup that I use to get the oil seam unit out. It's an inch and a sixteenth socket. It's an oil seam unit socket, it looks like that. You used about a four inch extension with a swivel head on it. And you're going to reach your hand behind the shield and you'll slip this over top and you'll get it out. All right, after we completed the repairs, I've been on a test drive now for about 10 15 minutes. And the oil pressure is maintained right at, looks like about 80 pounds of pressure, 79, 80 pounds of pressure. 